Um, What's his name on the back? Walter. Yeah. Where did he go? Tigger. Nodding dog. Killer whales on roof. Nodding dog. No, yeah, killer whales. Yeah. See, right, just yeah. above yeah. driver's door. Tigger. I wonder if you can see where he's really going. Really? Oh. I don't know what you mean. You don't watch all the horizons. Peace activist or whatever. No, he's not. What's his name, John? Prince Hewitt. Yeah, oh, Prince Hewitt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his, his name is actually Henry. Harry, Henry, Hewitt. Tim. Henry. <laughs> yeah, well, Diana Henry. didn't like Henry. She thought he was too old. She liked Hewitt. So, call him Harry. You know, cost me the room preferred, it was only $5. Yeah. Well, it's not the same as the Oh, Danielle's got a little smile, so it must be at Epcot. <laughs> Epcot will kill a whale. What you done? That's it.
So we had dozens and dozens of pilot whales washing up onto beaches, and these were essentially baby animals at the time, and they are the only surviving members of their pod. So they were found on beaches in Florida, down in the Keys, actually. Um, SeaWorld went down to respond to that stranding event. Um, we were able to save these particular animals, bring them back here to SeaWorld to be rehabilitated. Now, once the animals are uh, on the mend, then the government makes a decision about whether they are releasable or not. Um, so our pilot whales started uh, their uh, life here at SeaWorld after they were deemed not releasable. Then we just jumped in. We wanted to do a lot of training with them. Um, the bulk of the training that we've done with these animals is for husbandry or caregiving purposes. So we want them to present different parts of their bodies. For example, with Ava here, Leah just asked her to present her back so we can get a look at that. We can ask them to present their pectoral flippers, their tail flutes, where we collect blood samples from. We can have a measuring right, or a scale, we can compare the body condition of our uh, healthy animals here at SeaWorld um, with wild animals too, to get a good idea of just really how large they are, maybe how much blubber they have, if they are pregnant or not. It's a really cool research project that we've been doing um, over the, ongoing over the last uh, year or so. Um, we have a researcher that comes every couple months ago to retake those photographs. Variety of different 
different sounds. So we have a tone box with 10 different buttons on it. That when pressing those buttons, they create 10 different underwater sounds that each need something different to the kill whales. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the two tone. So what the two tone is going to ask the whales to do, you just saw them go, is hopefully they'll swim to the center of the pool. So that's what the two tone means. And then, so we'll look and see if they, if they figure it out. Looks like they did. And then we're going to push the, the six tone, which asks them to squirt water from their mouth. So this is really neat. So a lot of times when you watch us interacting with the killer whales, you'll notice that we're using hand signals. So primarily that is how we ask them to do behaviors. <laughs> so what happened there is we pushed the four tones. So they kept squirting the water, but started to do that. Now this is really cool because if you've seen our show, how many of you guys have seen one ocean? We do exactly that during one of the segments of our, of our show where none of us drink the Oh, and this is another one. This is when we press the nine tone. It asks the killer whales to slide out the slide out area. So again, really smart animals and just one really cool way that we're able to train. Beautiful! Thank you guys so much for being here at Diamond Champion. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day here at SeaWorld.
this is just your average boogaloo, but to our animals, it's a toy. So toys serve two different functions here in the world. They not only keep our animals mentally and physically stimulated, but they're a great way to reinforce and reward our animals for doing the correct behavior. <laughs> As you can see, Bubba and Tiffany have a lot of fun playing with them.
So then what can you do, worry? Blue under girl, black under guy. I'm scared of dropping stick or throwing stick. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> you after your dad knew you anyway. Oh. It doesn't matter what I did one. Yeah. It moves me in there, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
बैठे